are you? My name is Kia. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing what we are doing for science, geography, and if you guys want to call it Bible, religion, faith formation, what have you, what we're doing for those subjects. If you guys want to see what we're doing for reading, writing, and arithmetic, I will link those videos in the description. And... Okay, so this is what we're using for geography. So um, this is from Easy Peasy. And if you go on their website, it's under their history. But I'm not considering it history. I'm just considering it, you know, geography. And um, yeah, so we've been doing this for a while. And we're not that far into it. You have to make a passport. So we made a little passport. And these are some of the countries that we went to. Uh, we visited more countries, but I have to cut out, I mean, print out the flags for them. So I haven't done that yet. But yeah, here we did England. There's not a principle or worksheet for every single um, country. So just so you know. So like we did learned about the Spice Girls. <laughs> I love the Spice Girls when I was younger. Learned about the king. Um, so she did a crown. And here, um, France, we read the book Madeline. That's not a part of the curriculum, but since I have the book, um, I wanted us to read it. And then, you know, we learned about that. And they had to do a paper doll. So this was for Spain. And I know, like, you you know, the Madura has red, but I just told them they can color whatever color they want. And so we also did a lap book. And in one of my previous vlogs, I showed us going through, you know, our lap book. So I will link that in the description if you guys want to watch it. And um, next, we'll be going through Africa. So, yeah, like I said, we're not that many lessons in because we're going, like, super slow throughout this. But... I'll just give you guys a little flip through if you want to see this. Um, you can print everything online for free or you can go on Amazon and get this book. And that's what I did because I don't want to be sitting around printing stuff. <laughs> and I also got this to go with it. This is from DK. This is um, their book, Countries of the Worlds, Our Worlds in Pictures. And it's just a geography book. So... It goes through the different continents and the different countries within the continents. Gives you a little bit of facts about them. So I thought that would be like, you know, cool to have as like a book. And as we go through certain countries, will I like just get a book, like a picture book. And, you know, we read about those countries or, you know, people in those countries and stuff like that. Okay, for our science, we're doing Easy Peasy's Earth Science. So the way Easy Peasy works is they link up your history and your science together. So if you create an account they and you put a grade level, they will automatically fill everything in for you, right? And you can change it if you want. So you could take something out, put something in or whatever. Um, but I just left this. So I was like, yeah, that goes together. <laughs> And um, this is the principle for earth science is not as much as for, um, you know, the geography and cultures book. So um, if you guys want to just print it yourself, you can. But um, this has been pretty fun. Like we did a volcano experiment. We learned about different layers of the earth. We learned about, you know, just earth science things, really. Um, we learned about caves and stuff like that. Right now we're doing rocks. And then I got this from DK also, and this is the first Earth Encyclopedia. So it basically just goes over like, you know what I'm saying. So here's rocks and I just take this and we read about it and we look through it. And the girls really like this book, so it's good. So for religion or whatever you guys wanna call, call this class or course, whatever. Uh, religion, faith formate, family faith formation, or faith formation, or um, Christian studies, Bible, what have you, that's what it is, right? So this is the Whom I from the Image of God series, and this is by Ignatius. And I did do a video on this already, so I will link in the description. So I used this before as my first child, but I was thinking about it. 
um after we did this we just were reading bible stories and watching like you know different bible videos uh bible story videos and stuff like that and doing like random crafts that i found on pinterest um and so since we're doing this again um because my other child is now old enough to do this program i didn't want to have to do like one for one child one for the other child so they're just on the same level doing this but the cool thing about this is that they have a book a and a book b <laughs> so i did the book a with my first child so now we're doing book b with my second child and it's um yeah it's good <laughs> basically in here they have different you know little activities and things for them to do they have coloring pages they have a little matching little um stuff like that but i will link in the description the video to the first book that i showed it's very similar if you guys would like to look at it and the teacher's manual has a few other um, activities and things that you can do with the children it has the bible readings in it um if you want to you know read the different bible readings and i also have this for religion this is from familyformation.net and is via <laughs> the church of saint paul in minnesota so you guys don't have to be a parishioner of that church but um you can still get like the resources and everything this one um you do pay for it and they send you the materials each month throughout like the traditional school year um so like september to may they're gonna send you a new uh packet of activities to do so this is for may and this is the ascension of jesus into heaven um and then you know it has like stuff to read about has activity you're gonna take a trip to heaven um have your passport and everything so it has you know all of that in here so for ascension then pentecost um they have you know some for you to read and things for you to do and stuff like that um and then throughout this summer because this is the last month of this may um you're gonna work through the different virtues so then you know it has um a game to play and learning about the different virtues actually this one has a few different games um different songs cardinal virtue songs cool games that you can play over the summer talking about temptation and um this was i is the itineraries to heaven and it has you know just other little things your passport to heaven it's pretty cool when you read it over holy spirit airlines destination heaven free paid for by the blood of jesus and it gives you some, you know, information about that. I read through this. I was like, this is pretty cool. We haven't done it yet. <laughs> We're a little bit behind. <laughs> and it has a, um, the Eucharist, the mantra and secrets, the, well, I should say the Blessed Sacrament. Learning about that. Um, here's a little activity for them to do. And yeah, they have all the activities for the virtues. They have bingo for the different virtues and coloring page so it comes with a lot of stuff as you guys can see and you tell them like how many kids you have and so they'll give you like you know an extra one for however many children you have and um i was going to say something else about this program i can't remember but i found out about this from another catholic youtuber and i will link their video in the description if you guys like to watch it oh this is what i want to say so this is from kindergarten to sixth grade they do have a preschool one i this is my first time trying this i started in april so just for two months and um i did not use the preschool one 
hopefully when my third child <laughs> gets older i will use the preschool one but because i already have a preschool program it didn't really make sense to have two so i decided to get this one and this is kindergarten to sixth grade and of course you would adjust it depending on you know um your child and we also go through this book this is um saints around the world and we just read about different saints so this is a wonderful book and um i hope that you guys get it because we love it and they really they do tell the story of the saints you guys and like what happened to them and stuff like that so uh just so you know but it's, it's a really quick read and it's really good we really um enjoy it and I don't know if you if I was like saying it clearly but the bible readings are in here and we also do read you know from their children's bibles and stuff like that um I did a whole video on like a lot of the books that we use outside of like curriculum to um read and talk about God and stuff like that uh so I will link that in the description if you want to check it out so I wanted to share some honorable mentions. I did try out this from Core Knowledge, and Core Knowledge is also a free um, curriculum provider. You can do everything for online, or you can buy the books from them if you would like. So anyway, I tried this, and this is a kindergarten like geography. It didn't really have too much going on, to be honest with you. It was like, oh, read this to the children and um my kids didn't like this page i guess they were a little bit afraid of this one um but yeah i was like you know just read um these little facts and information and it didn't really have like fun act uh, fun activity or anything to do it was like um you know build a castle which was fine because we do that already but i just i mean i could come up with that on my own so i just wanted like more things to do i guess and they did have a cool visit to the eiffel tower where it was an area of view of the eiffel tower that was pretty cool for us to look at but i didn't really have too much going on so um i might check out the first grade i feel like i did already and i guess i didn't really like it but i'm gonna check it out again to see what their first grade offers um but i thought it was okay and I got this from Catholic Heritage Curricula, the Holes in C. This is level one, but I don't know what to do with this because it doesn't really seem to have that much going on. Um, this is divided based off of the season. So it's like each season doesn't really have too much going on. It's a little bit to read. Um, each day you can chart or track the weather. And it wasn't really like or it doesn't seem like it really has too many activities to do but i guess i'll just still try it out i definitely want to do this part with the different seeds like you know pasting seeds on here i think they would like that and i think it's also a part yeah here where you're growing different um, plants so that would be fun for them especially now like around this time of year um so yeah and we did this already. I did this already with my first child, so I want to do it again. I really liked it. And I, for some reason, just thought this was going to be very similar uh, to one another, but really not um, that similar. But this was great. And I do have a video of this on my channel if you guys would like to check it out. Link it in the description. But yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was um, really nice. And it was very simple because, you know, it is for kindergarten, but it's also like pre K. Um, and this is like more of a nature study and it was cool because they had some nice book recommendations in the back. They have little rainy day activities that you can do. Um, I think this was like fuller and richer than the way this seems to be. But then again, I can't really review this too much because I haven't used it. I'm just just from me looking through it, you know. But yeah, I'm excited for us to do this again, um, especially now that the girl's a little bit older and stuff like that. Okay, so that's the end of the video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye!